What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus. Welcome to the Shine Life family. You need to watch your words. You need to watch what you say because your words reveal you. Today we're going to get deep in God's word, studying uh, to the, uh, daily devotional called Rhapsody of Realities. This way we do a Bible study every single day of any other day in this channel. So without further ado, I hope all is well with you and your family. Let's get into the word. We're talking about your words reveal you. And our theme scripture for today's Bible study is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 37. Let me read this, and I'll read the devotional, and I'll break this down. So he says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Interesting. I want you to pay the attention to this. This is so important. So let me read the first paragraph. I'm going to put the link to the description of how you can download this daily devotional. So it says, Pastor Chris from the devotion says, what kind of words come out of you and where do you get them from? Why do you say the things you say? These are critical questions for your heart. As a Christian, you ought to always examine your life, especially with respect to your words, because your words locate you. They reveal your character. If a man's words are hurtful and biting, then that's no that's who he is in the inside. But if your words are gracious and kind, uplifting, heart feeling, up heart lifting, then that's the character of your personality. You're the character of your words. And this is important, man. We're talking about words, uh, what you say is important. And where do words come from? Words come from from primary what you watch, what you hear. So it's important what you expose yourself to. Because no one just is born speaking words. In fact, kids have to be taught. A language that they just don't start they don't come off the belly and just start speaking they are taught and depending on the environment they just start adapting and start speaking the language of the environment so if you find yourself this is something we all have to examine if you find yourself you're speaking the wrong things that are not consistent with God's will that means it's either based on your on your associations the friends the people that you you hang around in because what you listen to what you see controls what atom ultimately comes as words so words kind of reveal what's already in your storehouse. This is like a, 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 a revelation of what's in your heart. That's why Jesus said, when it all comes to an end, you know, people always think God is going to judge people based on what they did and what did they do. It's really based on words. Human beings are saved by words. Words. I mean, can you imagine it all? It, when it all boils down to it, whether you accept it, you go to heaven or hell, it will all be based on words. That shows you how important words are, what you say. And I want to show you this, actually. Let's go look at this. Um, the importance of words. It's in the book of Romans. Let's look at this real quick. Romans chapter, it's a famous scripture. This is the salvation scripture. If you know, everybody knows this. Romans chapter 10 and verse number 9. Uh, let me, let me put that in there it says oh let's start from verse 8 it says but what what he said oh man maybe you need to get context oh my lord i want to feel like i want to read the whole thing but let's start from verse 8 it says but what said this he's talking about the word of salvation the word is near thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach that if thou shalt confess words, words, with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. This is important. Let's go to the whiteboard of righteousness. We are discovering uh, important functions. So God reveals some important things to us for us to pay attention. So he says, let's look at this like this. Uh, let me put this like this so you can see. Uh, let's do it red. So this is your heart. Hopefully I can draw a good heart. So that's your heart right there, right? Heart and let's, let's use something else for the mouth. So this is your man. I'm not even good at drawing lips. So this is your this is your mouth. Let's put those are your teeth. <laughs> so he says, your heart 
your, your, your mouth reveals what's in your heart. So when you speak words, they're basically describing what is stored in here. In here. He says, the heart believes righteousness. How do I know you believe in righteousness? I can't look into your heart. But you know how I can tell you, 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 you're made righteous? It's by words. He says, if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, how do I know you believe that God raised him from the dead? Because you declare God, Jesus is the Lord and Savior. He says, when you, when you, when you believe, you speak. You speak your believing. Oh, I'm going to have to show you this. We are getting deep. So the words, words are actually a revealer. They're just telling us we can't, we can't x-ray your heart. We cannot look at our hearts. He says, but when, when out of the abundance of the heart, the overflow of the heart, he says, when the heart flows with words, the heart has stuff, words in it, he says, it speaks them out. The mouth gives up what's in the heart. You know what I'm saying? The mouth kind of reveals and tells us, hey, this is what's in my heart. If you find yourself speaking like words of hatred, that means you must be storing hatred in your in, in your heart. That, that's why I say when you have to do a, a check, you say, hey, hold on a second. Why am I speaking these words of hatred? I need to correct this. It's not like, oh, I'm going to start speaking words of hatred. No, 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 no. That's, that's not, you don't correct it here. You correct it from here. You correct it from the heart. You correct it from the heart. And how does, what affects the heart? Because your heart was not like this. Ah, oh, man, so much to show you. Let me show you another scripture. Pay attention to that. So bear that in mind. While you bear that in mind, let's look at another scripture real quick. So I'm reading the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number number 2. And let's start from chapter number 2 verse 4 verse 13 says, let me see that. It says, we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it's written, I believed. So number one, I believed. Therefore have I spoken. We also believe and speak. Your, your speaking reveals what's in your heart. Your speaking reveals what you believe. Your speaking is a window to your heart. It tells us what's in your heart. What you're saying tells us what's in your heart. What are you saying consistently? That means this is in your heart. Bear that in mind. This is amazing. This We, we are discovering some amazing truths, right? So, honestly, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, verse 35, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart oh, bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. As a Christian, you got good treasures within you by the reason of, divine, of your divine nature. There's excellence in your spirit. So when you speak, it should come out of the abundance. That means from the treasure. Oh, this 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 is even now the main topic, but we're discovering a, a deep truth. It's telling us, the word of God tells us your heart. By the way, when I say heart, I'm not talking about the physical heart that beats. It's really talking about your spirit. The real is your spirit. So the words heart. It's not meaning the physical heart, but your spirit. But we're discovering this spirit, your spirit, has treasure. Can you imagine? The whole world talks about when you go mine for oil, you have to go to all these different places where you go look for diamonds. You have to go to this terrain. But God reveals a deep truth. He says treasure, riches are hidden in your heart. They are in you. Prosperity. Uh, this is a by the way, this is something of, on the side. Health, wealth. He said he put them in here, in your heart. Can you? Can, you you're thinking how? How? He says he stored them in your spirit, and he says a good man. You, if you want this, you speak right. He says when you speak right, when you talk now, you release, you open a valve. When you're speaking the right words, you bring out the treasures. He says, you pull out the treasure with words. The right words. You're pulling out treasure from your heart with words. He says, if you have good treasure in there, the words will reveal the treasure that's in you. 
But if you find yourself you're speaking the wrong things consistently, you must have let in the wrong type of treasure. You must have been putting the wrong treasures in there. That's easy. that's why it's important. I get really passionate about what we watch because what you watch, how people influence you, the things they want you to see, corrupts your heart. And then it affects your speech. So if you're meditating on, on things that concern hatred or things that are concerns violence or things that, 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 that are not right, let me show you this actually before. Let me show you this scripture. Let me show you this. Uh, I want to read to you a really important passage of scripture from the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. Let's, it says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect. Hey, that's why we got the name, the shining light. It says, The path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect. Day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They don't know at what they stumble. And it says, My son, Attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart, for their life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are issues of life. You know that word? It means protect your heart. Maybe look at Amplified. Let's look at Amplified. That might, that might help us out. Uh, that's good there. Eh? Verse 23 says, Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance. It says, With all vigilance, above all your guard, for out of it flows springs of life. This is important. That's why I'm really passionate about people, what they watch, what you're influenced by all your TV and your celebrities, because if you if your gates are loose if this is your heart by the way your heart like i said it's your spirit and and maybe this is where it is and and the gate the gate is open that means anything uh lust fear uh, sickness um hatred um every kind of evil they just come in they just come in and they go like oh there's nobody in here ah and they come in and corrupt corrupt your heart they come in and corrupt it your heart is full of fear full of hatred full of lust full of all these wrong things and guess what based on that your mouth just communicates what your heart is. So your mouth is just doing its job. Your mouth goes like, oh, yeah, let's talk about what's in our heart. Your mouth starts talking fear. Your mouth starts talking sickness. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling this pain in my back. I don't know what this pain is. I'm, I'm Man, I'm, I don't want to catch the the, cold, the flu. I hope I'm, I'm probably going to get sick. I think I got something. I think there's, there's a group. You start talking fear. You start talking sin. It's like, we can't stop sinning. I can't stop sinning. I'm not going to do it again. I don't know why I keep on sinning. Start talking sin. And you're wondering, how did this all come in? Because you know how it came in? You didn't put no God in here. This was not protected. Oh, yeah. Let me go watch that Netflix movie about vampires. Let me go watch that movie about scary. Oh, my God. That movie was so scary. I was so scared. And then fear is like, oops. Yay. You can come in. Fear. Let me go watch that movie about some demonic stuff. Oop. Let's go in. Yay. That's what it is, basically, because you're not putting like a like a God. So when you when you have when you have like a protection, this is your heart. And then you re literally say, hey, 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 this is a barbed wire. This is an electric fence. When all these things, you just don't want, oh, let's go watch this thing. No, what is this about? No, I'm not watching it. Did you hear about this? About this person? About gossip? No, I'm not. I don't want to hear. Boom. Fear tries to come in. Boom. Sin tries to come in. Boom. It can't go in. It can't go in. It can't go in. It can't go in. You know why? Because he says, keep and guard your heart with all. You're not playing games. Vigilance. It is above 
all you got because rivers of wealth comes from the heart this is the, this is the spring the spring of wealth that is the fountain of youth you know people talk about the fountain of youth it says the, the it says the healing and health is is in the word and he kept that in your spirit don't corrupt the fountain of youth because it flows from within you and how is it corrupted by watching things that scare you by watching horrible things on tv or listening to the wrong things and it comes in and then you start speaking hope that makes sense let's keep on reading this jesus said he that believe it on me as the scripture um let me see that he that believe it on me as the scripture saith, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water living water he was speaking of the holy spirit which those who believe in him will receive that's in john 7 39 that's the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life means you're enabled to let out rivers of living water which come forth in words, divine words. This means if a Christian speaks foul, brash, bitter words, he's exuding an attribute that is inconsistent with his nature. James 3, 11 talks about fresh water and bitter water don't issue from the same fountain. Yours is the fresh water from God's fountain inside you. You don't have a mix. You only have goodness, blessings within you, which are revealed each time. You exactly. The words reveal what you have. So don't pollute your heart. Don't pollute that river by bringing in the wrong things. Protect it. Let's go watch this. Protect it. You know, people like to send people videos constantly. Oh, oh. Now we're on social media. Oh, go check out this video. And they don't warn you. They don't give you a warning what video you are. It's like, no, no, you, you, you watch it, watch it. And then you click play and it's like, oh, dear Lord, why do I have to watch this? Why did they do that to me? It's like people, so you have to be vigilant. And then on TV, you can just be watching everything. So you got to be pro protective because one meditating on it, it will eventually go in. And then your speech will change. And then you start speaking the wrong thing. Your speech is the true measure of your maturity. Uh, as a Christian, if anyone does not offend in speech, never says the wrong things, his his fully developed character. He he is a fully developed character and a perfect man. That's in James chapter three verse two amplified. Through your words, bring healing and life to others. Bring them hope, strength, courage. Chart your course in victory from glory to glory with wholesome faith filled words. I did a video about faith filled words. I'll probably link to it at the end of this video. So I want to state this confession. Let's speak the right words, right? Let's start speaking the right words. Just say this through my wholesome faith filled words, I chart my course in victory from glory to glory. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak life in wisdom all the time. I live in divine health, supernatural abundance and in continuous success and prosperity in Jesus mighty name. You can study further what well, we just read in Matthew chapter 12 verse 35 37 amplified in Mark chapter 11 verse 23, James chapter 3 verse 31. And by the way, if you're trying to read the Bible, you can read it in one year. Just pick a scripture. You don't you don't have to go back all the way in the beginning. Just start with these scriptures. Or you can complete it in 2 years. Just follow this this plan. It will help you out. Amazing. I hope you've been blessed by today's devotional. You, know, you know, if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. Welcome to your family. We do study the word of God here every day. I got so many videos in this channel. Bless you. That will teach you God's word. That will build your faith. This is how you put in the right words in you. And then they start coming out of you when you're speaking forth. And this is important. And I want to pray with you for all of you, no matter what you're going through. You know, when we join our faith together, we produce results. But before that, if you're not born again, if you don't know Jesus as the Lord and Savior, I just read to you. You believe in your heart, but that's not good enough. You got to confess with your mouth because your heart, your words reveal what you believed. So I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation so that you can be born again and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So I want you to say this after me and mean it with all your heart. Just say this after me. So yeah, just say, oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. If you say that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family. You're born again. It's as simple as that. 
you are a Christian. You have been saved. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Watch the playlist called Foundation School. It will teach you more about this new walk and how to build your faith super strong. And if you're watching this, no matter where you're from, I want to pray with you. I pray the blessings of God remain with you. No matter what you're involved with, the favor of God follows you and surrounds you like a shield. I speak health and strength to your body. I rebuke the sickness and infirmity in your body. I command healing and strength. You'll be made whole and be healed from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. The wisdom of God is granted you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amazing. Appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you leave me a comment. What have you learned from today's video? What is the takeaway? What can we learn about speaking right, speaking the right things that bless others? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. Make sure you leave me those comments. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Until tomorrow, it's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you. Mm -hmm.